Welcome into this presentation of Minor League Baseball from the AA Texas League. Tonight, a battle of two first-place squads between the Arkansas Travelers and the Springfield Cardinals. Digging in, Sam Haggerty. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. And that's high and off the plate, two and one. Expected to get a little cooler as we go on, but the temperature at game time, 68 degrees. Fielded cleanly. And there's one gone to begin the evening. Now with the plate, Cesar Asturias will swing it from the left side right here. One of the things this guy would like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right-handed pitching. This guy has decent numbers, but not great numbers against right-handed pitchers. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Next will be the designated hitter, Jordan Cowan. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Pitch out, nothing doing. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. The 2-2 pitch. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Baird with a little do-it-yourself play, and there are two down. Now at the plate, Mitch Nay. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Three-two pitch. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Late Kramer Robertson. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Three and one to him now. Rounded down the third baseline. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder is on the move. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. So coming to the plate, Lars Newtbar. Bases are empty, one man up. Can't connect there, it's two and two. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. Into the box now, Ryan Blanchard. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. A 1-1 home. Lifted in the air out to right. Philia is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Second inning set to go, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Nick Zamorelli. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Ball even at two and two. That's lifted the other way out to left. Newtbar is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Stepping up now, Connor Lean, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Capel will wait on it. And yeah, that's out number two. Settling in now, Eric Filia. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. The 1 1 home.
And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Joseph Odom would be next. And he fouls this one off. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. On the ground to the left side. Base hit, and that's their first of the new campaign. And now Joseph Odom, and it's fouled away. Now just trying to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's two and two. Throw over to first, and he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad mistake that time as he's picked off to end the inning. Digging in the switch hitter, Jerry Gonzalez. He set to lead off the home half of the second. Nope. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. The 2-2. Two -two. To short. Right to him. And a good throw gets him one gun. At the play, Connor Capel is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. A 1 1. Strike two swinging. Bottom of the second here with no score. Hit out towards second. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. At the plate, Nolan Gorman will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Slider is right there, 83 on the gun. It's one and two. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The one two. Popped him up. Into the stands. He got it. So striding in, Joseph Odom. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 2 2. Up off toward the third base side. Gorman is over and he puts it away for the first out. Now in the box, number 36, ready to get his day at the plate started right here. The 2 2. Fouled off. Third inning, no score to this point. And another foul ball. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. All even at two and two. Here it is. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Now Digging in for his second, second at bat, Sam Haggerty. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll toss this one on to first as they're kept off the scoreboard again, and the inning is over. Bottom of the third now, and next to hit is the catcher, Brian O'Keefe. A 1 1. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Now at the plate, Irving Lopez is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Set and the 1 1 pitch. High fly ball out to deep right field. A ball that's tarrying. 
But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Standing in now, Zach Kirtley. High in the air out to center field. Number 36 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. Digging in to try it again, Kramer Robertson. And they're runners at the corners now. The 1-1 pitch. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Ground ball left side. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. All set for the start of the fourth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Cesar Asturias. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Jordan Cowan. He Jordan. popped out in his first trip. The one-two. He swung on and missed strike three. Striding in once again, Mitch Nay. Over one after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. 2-2 two -two pitch is a fastball high, so it runs full 3-2. and two. And he goes with the slider here as that misses in tight. It's ball four. Now batting. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Nick Zamorelli. Flied out in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And he comes back with a fastball, 1-2 and two now. Misses ball two. The two two is laid off and the count runs full. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Liner towards second. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Digging in, Lars Nootbaar. He set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. Throw on to first in time, one away. So stepping in, Ryan Blanchard. He flew out in his last at bat. The 1-1. One -one. Misses ball two. Right side hit hard. And that is through into right field for a single. Now got it. The first base to the plate now, Jerry Gonzalez. And he misses again, ball three. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Blanchard over at second. Gonzalez is over at first with one away. And that misses two and two. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. That's lifted the other way out to left. Lean is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. And this throw gets away from him. Striding into the box, Nolan Gorman. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Here's the two and two. 
Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. At the plate, Connor Lean. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. It is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Coming to the plate now, okay. Eric Filia. One for one after a single this first time up. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now here's the pitch. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Now so striding Captain. forward now, Joseph Odom. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. The 1 1. Fouled away. Lays off 2 and 2 now. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at two to three and the inning is over. Set now for the bottom of the fifth and now it'll be the catcher Brian O'Keefe. Two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Count even at two and two. Now the pitch. And he got him. Standing in, Irving Lopez. He reached on a single in his first try. The 1-1 one -one home. That's Bolton. Now a swing and a little bouncer softly hit to the right side of the mound. And there's out number two. Striding forward now is the DH. Zach Kirtley comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the 2 1. Will not catch the zone, ball three. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center, and that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Now that is into the box Kramer Robertson bouncer to the left side throw on to first gets him and the side is retired striding in number 36 he's 0 for 1 thus far Even now, two and two. Ball three. Three and two now. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Kinkle, patrolling center, makes the play one out. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Sam Haggerty. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. And he will run this one down, moving to his left, and that's the second out of the inning. Two out, nobody on. Full count now, three and two. Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have three, four, five do up to start the next inning. 
popped him up. O'Keefe is under it. And that's the third out. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And next it'll be the outfielder, Lars Newtbar. The 1-1. One -one is taken for ball two. Two and two. Hey, this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by him. And he fouls this one off. Another 2-2 two -two offering. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Full count still. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Swing and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep. And you can forget about it. This ball is gone. you feel as helpless as a ball like this the pitcher and the right fielder were wishing and hoping it would hook foul right of the pole but no such luck off the foul pole and gone Wyatt Mills takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning number 83 Wyatt Mills At the plate now, Ryan Blanchard. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. So now it will be the four-hole hitter, Jerry Gonzalez. Now the one-and-one one pitch. Taken, strike two. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. The two two one more time. Count is full. Three and two. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Popped him up. Odom is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Connor Capel. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. the screws to shortstop but caught to retire the side seventh inning ready to roll and standing in is the DH Jordan Cowan this thing's far from over even though we're moving into the back end of this game only down by one all they need to do is get this leadoff guy and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. Drives it out to deep right center field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he'll get in at second base as the tying runs aboard with a leadoff double. Now that third base. Mitch. Into the box yeah. now. Mitch Nay. No. no offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hit the other way out toward right field. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? The relay throw, and he is in there at third is the possible tying run. Stepping in, Nick Zamorelli, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Swing and a fly ball. And this should at least get home the tying run. 
Catch is made. Here comes the tying run from third. And the run will score from third as that ties things at one. Jake Woodford will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Stepping in, Connor Lean. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. The 1-1. Hit to short. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Jake Haberer gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and set to go is the third baseman, Nolan Gorman. Now the three and two pitch. Line towards center field. Number 36 is there, and he'll bring this one in. Ready now, Brian O'Keefe. He got called out on strikes his last time through. One out, nobody on. A bouncer up the middle. And that's the second out. Standing in, Irving Lopez. One for two in the ballgame thus far. Now the 2-1. Swing and a liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Now batting. The designated hitter. So now to the plate. Zach Kirtley heading out towards shallow right. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. set for the start of the inning and next to bat will be the outfielder Eric Filia down low two balls and a strike off speed pitch misses here and he runs it to three and one when you're playing close games like this base runners mean everything so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batter. Into the box now, no Joseph two. Odom. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Blanchard is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Now Ready down. once again. Number 36. 0 for 2 okay. on his line thus far. Good. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. He got him. Lively fastball that time and it puts an end to the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and stepping up as the shortstop, Kramer Robertson. Now the 2 1 pitch is looked at off the plate for a ball. Lying toward the gap in left center. And there's a base hit. So just like that, the leadoff man's aboard representing the potential go-ahead run. Now no Standing in now, Lars Newtbar. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Now Into the box, the right Ryan Blanchard. Oh, yeah. He'll look to bounce back after Blanchard. striking out his last time up. Line towards center field. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And with that, the go-ahead runs up to second now with only one away. Now back. First baseman. Gary L. John 
Colorado. To the plate now, Jerry Gonzalez. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Digging in once again, Connor Capel. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. Popped him up. Odom has a play. He hauls it in, and the potential go-ahead run will not come around to score. Ready for another shot now. Sam Haggerty. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Digging in. Cesar Asturias. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. The 2-2. Grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Got him to go down swinging there. Cesar Isturiz goes down for out number two in the top of the ninth. One, two is an off speed pitch. No dice. It's two and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Into the windup. The 2 2 pitch. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. Aaron Fletcher comes on to work on the mound, hoping to send this one into extra innings. Number 81. Aaron. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And that'll give way to the third baseman, Nolan Gorman. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind two and oh doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Now batting. Booker. Now batting. Brian O'Keefe. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. And two and two. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. Digging in and looking for more, Irving Lopez is looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Zach Kirtley would be next. Swing and a liner, but foul. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Nay, in foul ground, and this will land foul into the windup the payoff pitch on the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over so here's the cleanup hitter Mitch name he's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far now the three and two pitch slider and that's hit on the ground towards second Throw to first, gets him. One out here to lead off the 10th. Stepping up to the now plate, Nick Zamorelli. Nick Zamorelli. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. 
So digging in now, Connor Lean is one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2-1. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Two two pitches fouled away. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Ready with another two strike offering. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Line drive to center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Stepping into the box, Eric Fillier. There are two gone in the possible go-ahead run at first. A swing and a miss there, two and two. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And that's going to move that go-ahead run to second now with two gone. Now batter, the catcher, Joseph Odom. Into the box, Joseph Odom. Looked yeah. like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Popped up, back behind second. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Darren Gillies comes on to start the home 10th, and he's just hoping to get this one into the 11th inning. Ready for the bottom of the 10th here, and striding forward the designated hitter, Zach Kirtley. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. Nope. And possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in now extra back. innings. Now the one and two pitch. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. That was another good pitch and a tough call that could have gone either way. He couldn't get him to bite on it again, so the count's gone from 0-2 to 3-2. to Philia will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now Digging in now, Lars oh. Nootbaar. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. The one-and-one one pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Stepping into the box, Ryan Blanchard. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. The 1-1. One, one. And it's one and two. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. To two balls and two strikes now. Two and two. Here it is. And it's fouled away. And that will never threaten the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. 
throw comes in quickly, but the winning run is in scoring position now with two away. At the plate, Jerry Gonzalez. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. In now, number 36. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. The 1 2. Takes this the other way to right. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. Now back, second base. Sam at the plate now. Sam Haggerty. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. He pulls this one into right. Blanchard is there, one away. Ready for another chance. Cesar is tourist. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The one and one pitch. Line drive to left. In there, a base hit. And with that, the go ahead runs up to second now with only one away. Johan Oviedo takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. So now to the plate, Jordan Cowan. And he lays off again, ball three. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. The throw to the plate. He's safe. The throw was offline. They've broken through to take the lead. Now that first base. Mitch Ney. Stepping in now. Mitch Ney. Oh, it's on the ground a second. Did he get his double play? Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Now that the first baseman, Nick Zamorelli. Standing in now, Nick Zamorelli. Two and one. I got two one to count. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Set to deal. Here's the 3 1. A swing, and he pops him up on the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Digging in, Connor Lee. He's looking to deliver here with the bases loaded and two out in the inning. the third baseline but this will get foul it's a ball and two strikes and he strikes him out here for out number three but the damage has been done as now they'll need some extra inning heroics to pull this one out Santui Valala takes the mound in a safe situation as he'll try and make sure this one doesn't reach the 12th Set now for the bottom of the 11th. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Connor Capel. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Smoke the other way, high and deep to left. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first out. Now to the plate, Nolan Gorman. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. This is line to left, and he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. Now that oh, yeah. In now, Keith. Brian O'Keefe. Hard hit ball to second, and there's his first base hit in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. 
Into the box now, Irving Lopez. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. So striding in, Zach Kirtley. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Looks at a fastball low here, and it's full three and two. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at-bat of the night so far. Line towards center field. But this is taken in as a perfect metaphor to end this one as that ball was hit hard, but the ball game is over. Well, they had to put in a couple of extra innings of work, but hey, listen, a win is a win, and any win is good, especially on the road. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. Darren Gillies claims the win out of the pen his first. Sam Tuivalala earns the save out of the bullpen his sixth. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. From my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Travelers: two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For Springfield, one run on ten hits, no errors. They left 12 men on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and 40 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight, and we remind you to please drive home safely.